Midday, the Sue Solo way on Hot 107.9. And today we are talking to the phenomenal, the <laughs> outspoken, the fashionista, the vibrant, energetic woman. Her name is Janelle Monet. Hey, girl. Hi, how are you? I'm good. But the question is, how are you? I am phenomenal. I love that. Amen. 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 <laughs> so, listen, I'm going to get right into it. Who is Janelle Monet today? Who is Janelle Monet? What? Who is Janelle Monet today? Um, ooh, I mean, I was out really late last night. So, you probably are getting uh, <laughs> a very much so raspy voiced, super passionate, you know, about. What we're going to talk about, which is this project, Janelle Monet. Absolutely. I think what is super inspiring for some people is how different you seem. I think you've always come off really powerful in your music. That was mm -hmm. never a question. Mm -hmm. But I think that people are seeing you in this new, reformed mm. way. We're seeing more skin, mm. which I don't think we, we are familiar with seeing before. And I think that some people are either receiving it for its true meaning, which for you, I, I believe it's freedom. Mm -hmm. And then other people may feel that... Oh, she's going too far off the ledge. But isn't that almost the point? Like when you find freedom, you get to break out of that box that people put you in. Mm. I mean, you said it, you mm. know. I don't even think there's anything to explain. You know? <laughs> Let's talk lipstick lover. Lipstick lover, lover, lover. Mm -hmm. What's been the reaction for you? From my, your fans? My reaction. Mm. My reaction. I love I love the song. I love the music. I love this pocket that I'm in right now. I love I think I think people see themselves, you know, as a lipstick lover. Either they are the lipstick lover or they have a lipstick lover or yearn for a lipstick lover. Um no matter like how you identify. And so I think that's the beautiful thing is that universally uh, a lot of people are um tapping in, you know, and they they are from from the video to everything. I, I think folks are making decisions about if they're going to get free or not. Yeah. yeah. Would you consider this a movement or more of a realization for people? It's a movement. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's definitely a movement. Um, I think that it's important for brown and black folks to feel safe and have safe spaces. And I think what, what I'm doing is showing you what that looks like when we feel safe, you know, when we feel like we can explore safely with the people we love, when we can uh, express our freedom and bodily autonomy. And, you know, there's no pleasure. You know, the name of my, my, my album, which I'm calling a soundtrack to a lifestyle, um, is called The Age of Pleasure. But there is no pleasure without safety. Mm. And I think... As we start to see us feel more safe, black women feeling more safe, feeling more seen, you know, the LGBTQIA plus community feeling more safe, feeling more seen. You're going to it's it's the waves are going to hit. It's happening right now. That is so important. Representation matters. Obviously, you know, people fight for wanting to see more black actors on the screen and also diversity in music. Yeah. So I just think that it's so powerful that you could be who you are, but also share this gift of you to the yeah. world. I think that people initially may have thought that like, oh, pe women in, in music just always want to talk about sex and their bodies, but it's like the men do it. Why can't we have autonomy over ourselves? Like mm, you said. We do. We do have autonomy. Yeah. Tell me like. with Or actually, there are some women who don't have bot, bot, body auton uh, autonomy, you know, and we sh and that should be discussed. How do you find you it? You know, why, 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 why men are allowed or those who identify as men are allowed to, you know, express themselves in, in a manner. And when a black woman um, does the same thing, um, you know, what is that reaction? You know, the misogyny comes out, the patriarchy comes yeah. out. The, the 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 shock comes out, you know. But there there's some how many men are in here, which I got two. There are certain things y'all walk in the gym with your shirt off. Who's gonna say something to you? But if you did that, imagine the uproar. So there are a lot of things that you know. I think art also mirrors mirrors back to people, um, and and things that need to be changed and looked at. What is your favorite project or your favorite song on the Age of Pleasure? 
I better love all of them. Okay. <laughs> yeah, they got they got on there for a reason. I, it's no it's no favorites. It's an experience, you know. And it's not a really long album because I wanted people to want to play it again mm-hmm. and again and again. So it's an experience. Um, I love that I made this album with my friends for my friends. Um, you know, we were we were having a safe safe spaces in L- L.A. and um, my friends have a party collective called Everyday People, and they couldn't find the venue, and so we partnered together. You know about Everyday People, love Everyday People, right? Sada, I've known her for yes. years. We grew up together in Clarkston, so oh my god, I'm Ethiopian, so we, yes. we all grew up Hi, with each Sada, other. Hi, shout mm-hmm. out, um, and just seeing us around the world, like these are some of the most beautiful brown and black black people you've ever seen in your life, from Ghana, mm-hmm. Sudan, Jamaica. Uh, South Africa, mm-hmm. um, you know, the Caribbeans, New York, Atlanta, L.A., all gathered yeah. in a safe space. And when I saw the beauty in that room, you know, this project is my attempt at capturing that beauty. Yeah. Thank you for sharing this with us. Um, the Age of Pleasure releases June 9th. That's yes. literally around the corner. So it thank is. you so much for stopping in and talking to me. Thank I cannot you. wait to listen to the full body of work. Thank, thank you. you. And I'll be back here. I want to say October 6th. We ready. I think October 6th at the Fox. So get y'all tickets. I'm so excited. Let the Thank people you, know. Thank you, Atlanta. Thank mm-hmm. you.